Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. You know, it's your boy Anime King, and today we're going to be doing part six of What If Deku Was the God of Speed. So, before we start, I want you to like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that bell notification, stay posted. Um, get this one to pass 30 likes, yes. Get this one to 30 likes and part 7 will be out very soon. And over 10 comments, guys. So, remember to subscribe, yeah. So, let's get straight in. What if? Video intro. Oh, man, you left me alone and I broke every promise you ever made. I was in ocean, lost in the open. Nothing can take the pain away. So, you can drop me to the world. Tomorrow, I will come back. We are on the whole back. Feed me black and blue. Everyone will shake me. Every scar will build my throne. So, the last time we left off, you guys need to go watch part 5. And if you are new to the series, just comment down below and tell me. And you need to go watch part 1 to 5. So Deku got pissed for Togarashi killed his mother and everything so he decided to run back in time and kill Togarashi. So when Deku killed Togarashi all for one get pissed and he came out early than usual but in this one he ended up beating All Might yes he ended up killing All Might and the world was dropped in chaos yes the world was dropped in chaos everything changed all the people in the world lose their hope and spirit so nobody could like fight back against all for one all for one and his villains take took over the world so they all ran and the time has changed yes timeline has been changed and they who went back he saw the world is completely messed up yes the world is completely messed up and he's trying to fix it but he couldn't run back in time and good thing but his mother's alive yes his mother's alive and but Deku, he knew he has to go back and try to fix his world. But when he tried to run back in time again, when he run fast and like the blue portal opened up, going to run back, he couldn't go to the portal. Something was wrong. And then someone ran up and punched him in the face. Deku saw someone in a blue suit punch Deku in the face. Deku looks at him and Deku said, Who the hell are you? And the person said, Me, I'm here to kill you. So Deku and this other speedster are having a epic battle two of them punch or punch two of them are so fast yeah you can't even see them with your naked eye and two of them are fighting yeah two of them are practically equal and then the guy in the blue suit looked at Deku and said hmm, you have messed up the timeline if I kill you everything will go back to normal so Deku will not decide to run and try to catch him but he was just yeah he was like front of Deku but then Deku feels something wrong Deku feel like this guy he's like he's holding back and then the guy stopped right in like he stopped and Deku running towards him and Deku runs Deku run towards him but Deku run right through him yes because the guy end up facing him and Deku end up flying right into a wall because it was just so surprising for Deku to run right through him so now he ran up to Deku and started to punch him Deku and he started to punch him Deku and beat the living crap out of Deku yes he beat the absolute crap out of Deku so right now Deku looks at him and Deku would take off like the mask of his face and Deku faces all bloody and Deku said wait wait why do you want to kill me and then the person take off their mask and Deku looks at him Deku said who the hell are you and Deku end up passing out, yes, because he beat crap out of Deku. So Deku now wakes up and he's like in a like a small house and there's a chain on him. Yes, there's a chain on him so he could like run away. There's a chain on his feet. And Deku get up, Deku jumps, and Deku looks around and he saw the other speedster, the dude, and Deku said, Why do you want to kill me? And he said, Because you screwed up time. You're the reason. You did all of this. And Deku said, who are you? And he said, I'm from the future. Deku said, what? You're from the future? So why do this? But what are you talking about? How this affect you? And Deku said, so, if you're from the future, why did you come back this time to stop me? Why didn't you just go back for in time and prevent all this from happening? And he said, I'm new, okay? I'm a new speedster. 
and in my time the whole world is plunging chaos and we're being overmanned and overpowered by the villains because of you i found everything about your history and i decided to come back in time to stop this in my time it's it's like punishment if you ever go back in time to do anything or change the present or time you will be punished yes the villains are completely taking over the world and they're gonna be after me yes they have some gadgets that can bring them back in time so they could stop me but I decided to get away and I ran straight back in time but I don't know how to go farther back in time and they could say so why do you want to kill me you should be helping me to stop off one and he said you're the one you caused all of this if I could just kill you I feel like enough this would happen and Deku said I know you're new but if you kill me right here that means nothing at all will change you will just be killing me and then he scratched his head and said hey you're right and then Deku looked at him and said just let me out here I will go take care of one myself and then he looks at Deku and said you did, don't you know he's gotten far stronger He's been doing experiment on himself with power, yes. He's been absorbing the, the kids at UA High School. He's been experimenting on everyone and we can't do one shit to stop him, yes. Because Deku off one, yeah, the whole time is totally screwed up. So off one rule this world now, yes. He had a villain that rule this world. And he's been experimenting on everyone. He's not killing them, experiment on the kids. But none of them couldn't do anything to stop him because he's that strong. And Bakugo, when Bakugo came out of line to like fight all my fight off for one for stopping him, he beat Bakugo to a halt. Yes, even though Bakugo is a kid, all for one beat Bakugo and beat him down the sides. I know Bakugo is quiet as a mouse. He wouldn't ever go against all off one again because yeah, all for one showing who is boss. So, Deku now said, hmm, I can stop him, but I'm gonna need your help. And he said, I'm, I'm new at this, okay? I recently got my powers. It was a science experiment. We were trying to do something behind off one back, okay? And there was an explosion mixed with some lightning, like... It was a stormy day so the lightning ended up fusing with our machine and totally shocked me. I was in the hospital for like 4 weeks and I wake up I realized I got speed. I wasn't, I didn't have a quirk. I wasn't born special or anything. But I need to go back in time. That's why I made this my mission. To stop off one at any means necessary. So if I had to kill him, I'm going to kill him. And Deku said hmm. That's why I came back here too. I'm. It's like I can't go back in time anymore. I know you're new at this, but you would be able to go back in time, but you need some more training. And Deku said, I can't go back in time anymore neither. Every time I open the wormhole to jump through it, it just like reflects me back. I don't know what to do. And he said, Maybe because you go back in time so much time and screwed up something went wrong and they could say I don't know but we need to stop off one right here if we stop him right here that means in the future everything will be good and you will have a happy normal life but you know if we stop off one your powers will be gone because if we stop him here you won't be doing the science experiment at your school to like get powers you will, you won't have any powers if you go back and stop off one and he said this is a sacrifice I'm willing to take he's too dangerous he's too ruthless in the future everything yeah so off one in the future has created a machine for him to stay like youthful but his body inside he has the quirks are helping him stay alive he's like old yes but his body is being stay alive so he's hard to die yes he's gonna take like a thousand years he's been absorbing people quirks and creating them into serum to make him live forever yes so that's why he's a perfect bad guy so 
Deku said, okay, we need to stop this. And Deku said, oh yeah, by the way, my name is Izuku Midoriya. And he said, I am Ryan. Um, I don't really have a last name because when you were born, you were separated from our families and you were pushed into an orphanage, yeah. Because all of one treat us like test subject. But I don't really have a last name, but my friends call me Ryan for some reason. So, how are we going to do it? How are we going to stop all for one? And Deku said, for first thing, get me out of the shackles. So we end up getting the word of shackles and he said sorry for beating you up so bad and he said why didn't you beat me and Deku said what do you mean De Deku said what do you mean by that beat you and he said in the future you were known as a, the fastest speeder why how was it possible that I overpowered you and Deku said wait you know me in the future and Ryan face become the frown and Deku said, what happened to me in the future? Why didn't I stop off one here? And Ryan said, because you're dead. But guys, I'm going to end right here. If you want to see part 7 of this and you want to do, like, subscribe, comment down below. Turn on that bell notification to stay posted. But I'm also going to know, guys. Peace.